So using the program, Inside a shipping right, container on Camp Pendleton, something's happening we'll that could revolutionize we'll the way battles are part. fought. So first we start off with a part. This is a simple selector switch. This takes a night vision goggle scope and it turns it on or off. The switch we're about to print regularly breaks. It's not a part that's replaceable, so when it goes, it usually means $10,000 for a new set of goggles. And if you're on the front line, it could take weeks to reach you. We're going to print one in 14 minutes for around 30 cents. Just like you've ever used a printer before, this is a print preview. It shows your build space, so you can add however many you want. And then once you click print, it'll send it over to the printer and we'll do that now. Okay. We're going to hit build job. It just sent it to the printer. So if we come over to the 3D printer, it's going to ask us to start the model. And that's it. That's it. That's as it. simple as that. And you put in the plastic as a solid matter and it melts it. It comes out in spool. It takes it through the machine and essentially oh, squirts yeah. it out um, a hot glue gun the hot glue gun, and that's where it moves around and creates layer by layer. Being able to quickly create products and in the same day apply them is just, it's mind blowing too, in comparison to how we've done business. We started off with some simple projects like case handles for you know different equipment cases. Whilst we wait for the switch to print, outside Gunnery Sergeant Aunt showed me some of the other for, items you know, they've printed. Cases. This is our original. It breaks, we were able to print one and then test it. It actually is stronger than the original. We put Marines inside the containers and carried them around and broke some of the original handles and then tested it with the printed ones and made them work. We've got optics covers here for uh, weapons and we just wanted to see if we could print honeycomb and we did. We've actually utilized these. Uh, Staff Sergeant Jones actually took it to the range and actually shot it on his rifle and had no impact or any effect on his actual shooting. Amazing. I, I, I stuck with my original. Uh, <laughs> this interests me. This these, is... we, we, we call these pack loadable terrain models. If I have an area where I, I know I'm going to be operating out of, I can go on the, the Google Maps, get a terrain, and then print it within the 3D printer. I can take this now. I have a 3D layout of the entire area. I can see what buildings are there. I can take this, slide it in my pack, take it with me, pull it back out if I need to reference something and show or show someone somewhere and then put it back in my pack and keep going. The technology itself isn't new. What is, is the ability to make it mobile. They can now move it to the battlefield, potentially allowing them to completely flatten the supply lines during a conflict. Inside the unit, our night vision goggle switch is almost ready. So now it's done. Uh, I'll let you remove it. Once it clicks, go and open the door. The two blue tabs, rotate them outwards. Can I touch it? You can touch it. It's still a little hot because it comes out 167 degrees. So we can take it. That's amazing. You can see the, when you look at it. You can the, see the, the layers. The layers, yeah. You just take the supports and you can break them off. And then what I would do from here is I take a pair of pliers, remove this piece, install yeah. it on there, put the screw in and it's done. In the past, we've fought wars and, and battles in places and had to take hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars of equipment across oceans and across countries and then get those parts back in the end. Where now I just, I can take the plastic, print what I need in place and only what I need. Do you think this could revolutionize the way battles happen? Oh, absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Um, not necessarily the way battles happen, but the speed at which we can maintain the momentum. Uh, so whenever you think of a, a tank breaking, an LEV breaking, any kind of mission essential equipment breaking, and now we have to wait weeks, sometimes weeks, even up, up to a month in order to get that repair part back in. With this capability, with the expeditionary manufacturing, we're going to be able to, to, to make that part within a matter of hours or days. And so we'll be able to get that combat equipment back onto the battlefield to continue the mission. Absolutely. Testing of the facility, known as X-Man, or Expeditionary Manufacturing, is still underway. So far, they've tried it in austere land environments. Next, they take their shipping container to sea to investigate how motion and salt affect the process. There are plans for a 3D metal printer to be installed. 3D printing on the battlefield may soon be the norm. Rebecca Ricks, Forces News in Camp Pendleton.